cuffs with thumb holes. Um, I decided to do a video because, quite frankly, it gets a little bit confusing. So, you're going to take your cuff piece, except you're going to double it. Ta-da! Opened up. Nice, big, long piece here. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half here, and we're going to give a... We're going to mark a middle. We're going to give an inch on either side about. This is very fancy math. And now you're also going to mark, split this in about halves. That's about there. And that's about there. And now we're going to sew right from here to here. That's our first step. So now you can see that sewn. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do left side to left side, right side to right side. Don't ask me which one is my left and my right because, believe it or not, I still have to go like this with my hands to figure out my lefts and rights. It's sad, isn't it? 34 years old and I still don't know my left and right properly. And you're going to bring these together, and you're going to sew from like exactly that line down to that line. You're not going to sew this part, and you're going to just sew this part in between those lines for both sides. So bring that one together and sew it. You go on the other side, that one together, and sew it from line to line and it'll all work out. So now we've sewn those little bits together and now we're gonna turn it again and we're gonna flatten this out, make sure our stitching meets right in the middle and you're gonna sew down one side and you make sure your stitching is nice and meeting in the middle and you're gonna sew down the other side. And this should, in theory, give us thumb cuffs. Let's see if it works. While we're sewing here, I just want to point out that we are going to sew right up until that line of stitching and we are going to make sure it all gets there and it matches. So it's kind of going to look like one big long line even though we've done a whole bunch of separate little lines. Okay, moment of truth. Turn these right side out. Ooh, it's looking like it's going to be a thumb hole. Yep. We have thumb hole. This isn't going to fit me because it's a tiny little children's cuff, but ta-da! Turn it all inside out and it's all good to go. Bit of a big thumb hole, but you know what? Better safe than sorry, right? Or is that just my motto? Tell me your life's motto in the comments. I seem to have gone for better safe than sorry my whole life. Sometimes it leaves you safe, but a little bit sorry because you miss out on stuff. But, when it comes to sewing, it appears to have worked out and the thumb should fit. So, woohoo! I might just, uh, do a little few hand stitches in there to tidy some of this up. As you can see, you got a little loose threads, but that's okay. And then you're just gonna stitch them onto that comfy cowl as per the directions. Just pretend it's a regular old cuff. So there we go. All ready.